What is up guys? We have core today. So we are going to take a 10 minute core workout and it is one of my favorite workouts to do. It is a slow hold and go. So it forces some of us who are a little more speedy than others to slow down and really connect with the muscles and work that core big time. So you're going to need just a mat and we're going to start a timer here. So the first exercise we're going to do is just going to warm you up. So here we go. You're on the floor. I'm going to elevate my head and shoulders, but you are keeping your back flat, pulling your belly button down, and we are just going to do taps to the ground. So we are going slow for the first round. Abs are nice and tight. I'm already shaking a little bit. So you're really tucking under. So that belly button should be glued to the floor. And we want the knees to be right over the hips. So you don't want them kind of tucked in like that. You want them floating right over the hips. So keep them right in line there. And just little light taps. Now, if you would like to, if you are doing this correctly and keeping the back flat, you can extend that leg out and pull it back. So that's a little bit harder. We've got about 20 seconds here. Now breathe through it, really pull that belly button down. I mean, nail it down to the floor. Lower back should be imprinted in the ground. So get all those lower vertebrae nice and flat. All right, so now we have dead bug. We're just gonna hold out here, pulling that belly in, 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 as far down as you can. It should be hard to speak as you're doing this. So pull, pull, pull. Still breathe. How deep can you get those abs to pull to the floor? If you need to support your neck, you can do so here. And then we're gonna go into a go, which is gonna be a little bit faster, not too fast. So you're flopping around, but this is your bicycle. I feel like this is an every core workout. I know it's one of those tried and true exercises that everybody puts in their workout, but it works. So breathe it out, try and touch the elbow to the knee and get that shoulder blade off the floor. Breathe it out. Almost there. All right, here we go. You're gonna roll onto your side and we have jean pocket crunches. So if you're on your side, you're gonna lift the knees up so you're on the, um, if you were wearing jeans, your little pockets on the floor. And then we're gonna use the long arm here to help you up from the floor. So you're not just pulling the legs in, you're lifting in half. And we're going slow, slow, slow. Nice and easy. It's gonna be a struggle for me to talk through this one if I really focus on my form. We're not pushing too hard into the floor. We're lifting with those obliques. Try and touch the elbow to the knee. And again, you're on the squishy part of your butt. So if you have a bonier butt, just kind of move to the squishier part of it, or maybe get a pillow under there or a towel. A folded towel would probably be best. Pillow might be too big. Nice and slow. Keep it slow, keep it slow. One more. All right, now we're in a side plank on this side. So we're using the opposite side here. So side plank hold, abs are engaged. If you are a beginner and you need to put the knee down, that is totally cool. Go ahead and do that there. The elbow is right underneath the shoulder. Now we're gonna add a go. So we're just gonna tap and reach. Still lift the waist away from the floor. So you have a little bit of a arc effect going on. Breathe it out. So we work the left side first and now we're working that underside and then we'll come back and switch sides here. So really stretch and pull, stretch and pull. Keep the belly button pulled in. Don't let your belly button out. Try to get as high as you can. All right, here we go. You're back on your back. And we're gonna go into a slow leg drop. These are a little bit harder than the first exercise we did. All right, so we're going nice and slow down. Here is where we keep our back 
pulled down nice and flat. And then once you get as far as you can go, without that lower back coming up, you're gonna move slowly back up. So keep that lower back flat, 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 and lift. If you needed to put your hands under here and support the lower back, that's fine. Usually people who have a little bit more arch will benefit from that. But just try your best not to. And then really focus so you don't have to go low here. If you only go down this far, that is fine. Just as long as that back stays down. Okay, this part's gonna be hard. We're gonna hover this. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. You're gonna take it as low as you can and hover. Oh my goodness. Keep the back flat. Don't let it up. I'm not gonna be able to talk to you. Keep working. Hold it. Almost there, pull that belly button down even deeper, deeper, deeper. You got this. Pull it up. All right, so we're gonna cross the leg in a figure four, lower, lift, switch to the other side. So this is your go portion. We're moving a little bit faster. We are still keeping the back flat, right? So keep that back down. Belly buttons pull down. You should feel those lower abs really working by now. If you are more advanced, you can switch at the bottom. More advanced, switch to the bottom. Ooh, that makes such a difference, right? Switch. Again, the lower you go, the harder it is. Okay, here we go. You're gonna flip over. And we're gonna do all those side abs on this side. All right, we have that slow jean pocket crunch. You're on the pocket of your blue jeans, if you were wearing them. Nice and slow down. Pull up nice and slow. Oh my gosh, this round, I really feel. Don't speed anything up here. Breathe through it. Control everything nice and easy. Got about 30 more seconds. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling it big time. I'm not gonna be able to talk. Crunch it in. Take your time. We have a hold coming up. So we have a side plank on that bottom side right here. All right, here we go. Lift up, 20 second hold, side plank. Push away from the floor, so we're using the waist. Pull the belly button in, so don't just oh, let it all hang out there. We're still focusing on keeping everything nice and tight. Here's our go, 40 seconds. Reach and pull. Still stay high off that floor with that bottom oblique. Of course, if you need to keep that bottom knee bent, go for it. And I am trying to keep my whole bottom leg off the ground, my calf, but my calf's kind of touching the floor a little bit. That's okay, you're just doing the best you can, trying to lift the waist. Lifting the waist is that really important part. Breathe it out, stretch. Almost there, three, two, one. All right, back down again. We have planks. I'm sorry, you can't do an ab workout without planks. So here we are. Plank it out. We're gonna pull the right knee in towards the right elbow. Slowly bring it to the wrist. Bring it up, bring it back. Slowly left up, left knee, elbow. Bring it back, keep switching here. Move nice and easy with purpose. Do not speed anything up. This is where we really train those abs. Slide back in. It's a very subtle dip and a lift. You got this. We've got a plank coming up next in about 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. All right, we can do this. Here we go. I hate it when 
I give up the last 10 seconds. You can make it. All right, try and come right into a plank. So planks here, keep the belly button pulled in. If you need to come onto your knees, that's totally fine. Maybe you even wanna do one knee and then switch, whatever works for you. All right, back up into a high plank. Try and go right up into it if you can. And now we've got the go. So it's a little twisted mountain climber. Really dig in, pull the belly away from the floor. You got this, don't give up. You might feel this in your arms too, but try and stay with me for 20 seconds. Cross it over. Really pull those knees in as far as they can go. This is as far as I can go today. Your best will look different every day. Four, three, two, one. All right, shake it all out. And here we go, you're gonna stretch. Now, if you would like to do that again, you certainly can. That was just a quick 10 minute abs to tack on to any workout that you do, or maybe if you're having a day where you don't want a big workout, you want to just stay consistent and do something, that's a great thing to do as well. So we're stretching here. Whew. Squeeze the booty. All right. I think that'll do it. You guys did awesome. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you next time.